Hi my loves! Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about what you can do with the selection tool in Procreate. By the way, I'm not at all affiliated with Procreate. I just really, really enjoy the tool and I don't think it can, you know, be a substitution for Photoshop. I still use both of them, but as far as drawing goes, I really prefer Procreate over Photoshop because just you know the iPad is just first style you can take it anywhere wherever you want to go and you can draw whatever you want so today we're tackling the selection tool I think it's a very easy tool to use if you know how to use it I had some trouble finding and figuring it out so I hope this video helps you please make sure to give it a like thumbs up whatever it's called, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for weekly videos posting on Friday, and I hope uh, you guys can learn some, some of it. Yeah, here we go. So, the selection tool. First of all, you may want to learn this little S thingy here is one selection tool that we're gonna use. This is the second selection tool that I'm going to explain. I have all sorts of layers here. Um, but let's just focus on lips. Okay, we may want to select the lips with just the arrow. We can do that. It will select the entire layer, but you cannot just select a little bit of your layer with this selection tool. You can flip it like that, you know, you can flip it like that change it from position okay let's go back let's say you want to select only a certain area or like the upper lip I'm going to use this little s shaped tool here and you'll see that you can do automatic freehand rectangle or ellipse rectangle ellipse it's very easy you know this is a rectangle this is an ellipse and you can every time you're selecting something in the same selection session <laughs> you can keep selecting things let's say you want to remove something from the selection there is a add a remove sign here and let's use the remove sign let's say we don't want this lower lip area to be selected there is nothing from the skin in this layer so that doesn't really matter we just selected this but there's like no way they can change this and if you're selecting something there's a big chance that you want to do something with it so we're going to press the arrow when we're still in this session like this sign has to still be blue in order for you to change something about the position of your selection so we're going to use this arrow and now you will see that we can switch this or move this around we can make this bigger we can make this smaller look now she has like another another set of lips you know you can change you can change this up you can play around with this uh, it's very easy to use I use this all the time I usually use the freehand option though so with the freehand you can just make a selection Ta -da -da. very important here is that you close this circle so you have to tap it in order to have a selection you will see that there's a diagonal stripes here that means that there's a selection made the thing that is not striped is your selection now tap the arrow again you can change this back uh, back and forth again you can change this around play with it a little bit when you are in this selection you can do so many things with this as well you can um, rotate it you can flip it flip it horizontally you can fit it to the screen, you can distort it, if you're distorting it, you can really do lots of things with this. So that was a selection tool, uh, you can use this for all your layers, make sure that the, your layer is visible, otherwise you cannot use it, you cannot do anything on a layer that is not visible. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to know in the future, what videos you want to see in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because that will be amazing. It would be nice to include you into the YouTube community. And um, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me to do this, to focus on personal work. Without you, I would be... I don't know where I'd be, but I wouldn't be here. Um, so thank you so much, I'm really grateful for you guys. Yeah, please make sure to check out the next video where we're going to... Yeah, I'm going to explain a bit how I'm using the quick menu, uh, which is very helpful if you want to switch very quickly between certain features in Procreate. So make sure to check that out. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye guys, see you in the next one.